Hey team, so today we're gonna take a look at our drop squat. This is what it looks like. One, two, three, and so on. So we break that down, benefit of the exercises. We're building strength through the lower body, specifically targeting hamstrings, quads, glutes, and hips. We're also getting a benefit of cardiovascular health. So what we call heart and lung fitness, guys, from moving in and out at a really intense and consistent speed. The way we start is what we call our set position. Feet under the hips, hips under the rib cage, so everything's solid and strong at the top. We're gonna jump the feet wide, and I'm gonna show you this from the side, so that as we're jumping out, the weight is still in the heels. It's not the knees coming forward, it's the hips hinging back, chest is up, and we're getting the hips to the knee line or below every single rep. Common fault, excessive lumbar flexion. As we're coming out, the lower back starts to roll forward. Also, we lose the heels being grounded into the ground and now the weight shifts forward rather than locking the load through those target muscle groups. And really what happens is we don't get any of the results from the work we're putting in. So make sure all the weight stays in the heels, hips back and down, chest up. A regression strategy also, if jumping out and in, not for you. You don't have to do it, guys. Regular body squat, that's totally fine. And you're gonna receive the same muscular benefits. Um, from there, progressive and regressive strategies are mainly gonna be based Speed, the faster you move in and out with proper range, technique, you're gonna get that cardiovascular benefit. Range of motion, the lower you get into the hips, the deeper we get into those target muscle groups, guys, because that's actually how we load is with the range in this exercise. That is your drop squat.